Welcome to the Plumes of Oz channel where we look at the Australian birds in the wild. And today we have a beautiful little bush bird. It's called the Southern Whiteface. The Southern Whiteface is a terrestrial bird spending most of its time feeding on the ground. It is about the size of a finch and often mistaken for a finch because of its terrestrial habitat. It does eat seed, but mostly it looks for invertebrates, small insects in particular. This little bird is endemic to Australia, found in the southern half of continental Australia, not in Tasmania, and it has that white stall around the face. This gives it the name Southern Whiteface. The binomial name for the Southern Whiteface is Ophelocephala leucopsis. Ophelocephala meaning simple head and leucopsis meaning white face. Notice as this little white face hops around it has a little bit of buff on the flanks. Now in Western Australia there is a bird very similar with more buff and this is a separate subspecies. One needs to get them side by side to compare for I have seen the WA bird and personally I cannot pick the difference. There are three species of Aphelocephala or whiteface in Australia. The southern whiteface is the one most commonly seen and the whiteface are in the family Acanthozidae or birds that live in thorny bushes. Other Acanthozidae can be seen on the videos that we have presented. These include the pilot bird, the scrub wrens and the thornbills, Gerigones. And so the white face, like all other Acanthozidae, inhabit open woodland areas where there is an understory of scrubby bushes. Unlike the finches, which they are easily mistaken for, they do not need grassland, as they eat minimal seed, being far more insectivorous in their diet. Most feeding is done on the ground, but groups will pass through shrubs, gleaning from these shrubs as well. Sometimes you can get up to eight birds in a group. These seem to be social groups or family groups. These birds are songbirds. Just listen to this little white face. I don't know if it's a male or a female as they are isomorphic, but usually it's a male that sings from the top of a perch like this. When it comes to nest building, the southern whiteface is a little bit different than many of the Acanthozidae in that it tends to go into a hollow of a tree, whereas most Acanthozidae build their nests within the thorny bushes where they live. And it's also reported that the other whiteface, the banded and the chestnut breasted also have nests in the lower canopy shrubs. Now tree hollows are very much sought after. Watch this pair of southern whiteface at this old dead tree. You will see one of them going into the nesting hole. Nearby, the southern whiteface picked up a feather and I thought he would have returned straight away to the nest, but he just went around a little bit before returning back to the nest, surprisingly without the feather. There he's dropped it. As these whiteface were making a nest, other birds tried to take over. One of the ones in particular that also depends on getting nesting hollows in trees was the brown tree creeper. The white face persisted and chased away the tree creepers, ending up with the nesting hole to themselves. Here is the pair. As you can see, they are isomorphic. I cannot tell a male from a female. A few days later, back at the nest, the birds start to actively bring in nesting material. There were several ins and outs at this old dead tree, so they have a side entrance and a rear entrance. Now just look at this southern whiteface, carrying a large amount of nesting material to the nesting site. Again, more nesting material. One 
Well, I don't like waiting around nesting sites, so we will move on. And here at Gundabooka by the Darling River, there are plenty of white face about. And as I watch and photograph the southern white face, I can't help but think about the iris of the Acanthozidae. There is considerable variation. Brown thornbills, for instance, have a brown iris. The buff rump thornbill, it's just like the white face. It has a very pale iris. Then the common coastal white-browed scrub wren has a pale iris again. And just as within any family, there can be enormous variation in iris colour. So it is with the Acanthozidae. The different genera within the family Acanthozidae often share habitat because they have very similar dietary and habitat requirements. With the Acanthozidae that like the dryland areas, the ones that are commonly found together are the whiteface, the yellow rump thornbill and the chestnut rump thornbill. Here is another white face, but you'll notice that it has a band across the chest, giving rise to its name, the banded white face. This is a different species than the southern, and there is one further species. It is called the chestnut breasted white face. On behalf of Plumes of Oz, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you would like to subscribe to the Birds of Australia in the Wild, please subscribe to the Plumes of Oz by clicking on the P button.